Hey folks, uh, a little bit of a solo review. Um, this beer comes courtesy of Yankee Swap. So we're at a Christmas party last night. We did a Yankee Swap, what we do every year uh, at a friend's house, and they do a beer Yankee Swap. And we do like a four-pack or a six-pack. You mix it. You, know, you, you mix it. You can match it. You can do a full one. And then uh, we wrap it. We'll put it in a bag. And then we just Yankee Swap it. And um, I don't think anyone thought I was going to take this one. <laughs> Uh, but I did. I figured what I got. I got something good originally, and then I was like, "No, I want the left. I want the left." It was like I was like number seventeen in the swap out of like twenty one, I think, or twenty four. And uh, my wife came back with Old Speckled Hen, and I was like, "That's really good." And she wanted this, but I know I wanted this too. So left. I'm gonna open this while I talk. So way back in the day, I went to Germany for work. Way way back in the day, we're talking like twelve plus years, and um, I, a few people friends probably already know the story and i was in an airport bar in belgium um and it was uh right around the time the dark night was about to come out um and i remember this because i was sitting at the bar and they had a deal it was a left brune this is a left blonde by the way we're drinking left we're reviewing left blonde not brune but i was i was into beer then i was definitely into beer but it wasn't like uh i was still that was still young i guess um and we're sitting at, I'm sitting at this bar drinking Left Brun. Remember the first sip I took? My mind, it broke my brain. It was, it's just such a good beer. It's owned by InBev. They used to be independent. They, they, they used to be their own thing, but they are owned, owned by InBev. Um, so, so full disclosure, but it's still brewed in Belgium. Um, and I look up and it says Heath Ledger died. That's how I know the dark night was about to come out. And that's when I found out Heath Ledger died. And it was like a hot, yeah, hot dog deal, Belgium, Left Brun. Heath Ledger dying. It was there was a lot going on that day. I was coming home, um, and yeah, I got home and I told Kerry, my wife, and I was like, "Man, this is this this was this beer like was just the most amazing thing ever." I'm going on and on, and then it may have been, I don't know. We were at the this is the oldest bar, the first bar to ever sell Budweiser in America, Jacob's Worth, which is opening re, again reopening in 2024 in Boston. And we used to, they have German food. We used to go there all the time for my for, for my birthday. We were leaving one day and. We were, I think it was just us two at the time, and we were leaving, walking out, um, because we're sitting at a table at the bar this time. And I walked by and I saw the tat, I saw like the 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 left logo out of the corner of my eye. I stopped and I went, Carrie, that's the beer, that's the beer, that's the beer right there. And um, so we ended up not leaving, sat at the bar, tried the beer, she loved it too. And uh, I just, it's just. When I think of my craft beer journey, that beer is what kind of sticks in my brain. I think where it really kind of progressed or pushed me forward um, to say. So since then, um, this was the first one. We actually started getting the Left Blonde before we started getting the Left Brune regularly in uh, in the States. And then one year for Christmas, she actually bought me a mix pack of like all different Lefts. It was like this, the Brune, the Brown, the Brune, whatever, uh, like the holiday one and some other, other, other ones. And um, yeah, I have a soft spot in my heart for this beer. So when I saw that this was part of the swap last year, I was like, and I got the, I have the glass. The glass came with that set I was telling you about. There were two. One of them broke. I think it was my fault. But anyways, the head was like here. And uh, this is a, um, it's a blonde. It's a Belgian blonde. Um, subtle notes of vanilla and clove. It's a Belgian, Belgian new, Abiel. Started in 2040. Um, you get these pretty regularly um, now. You can still get the, the brown. And I will pick it up every now and now and again for nostalgia's sake. But this beer looks pretty. Looks like a Belgian blonde. It's got a nose. Yeah, it's got that. It's got, it's got that going on. There's clove. There's there's that vanilla sweetness. And it just has that Belgian-y, yeast, spicy characteristic. Oh, man. This is one of those love letter reviews. This isn't really a review. I know I'm going to love this beer. Spoilers. That clove spiciness characteristic. Like, if you're looking for a Belgian beer, you don't want to spend too much money. It's regularly available. It's produced by 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 in, InBev. Um, this is it. This is it. Uh, doesn't actually say... Oh, wow, it actually has calories and stuff on it. That's pretty cool. 190 calories. 17.2 car 17.7 carbs um it still says product of belgium which is interesting uh it doesn't actually say anything about the ownership which is really cool actually but in the bottle still it has the cool little embossed boss labeling and stuff like that on the bottle <laughs> oh 
feel like I'm drinking really hard. Yeah, this beer, fantastic. It's got that lovely level of spiciness, that cloviness, that like that like sweetness is there. Uh, it's really easy drinking. Six point six percent. You could you could you could crush these. Um, and I was just happy enough that I have the glass already. Uh, Carrie's drinking. We got, we got home from the from the party last night, and uh, one of the bottles I put in. The, I, I I did something it, like I put it in the fridge too hard or whatever, and the top just kind of like popped off. And I was like, oh. So Carrie's like, can I have the one that popped off like just now? And I was like, it's not gonna be carved. And she's like, oh, it is still carved. And I was like, okay. Oh, there's my timer for uh, my wings on the grill. So I guess I should try this up. I rambled a lot. Again, like I said, this isn't really a review. It's more of a love letter. Tell you the story about my love of Lef and how that kind of got me on my beer journey. But anyways, down in the comments, have you had anything from Lef? Have you had Lef Brune? I'm pretty sure I reviewed this before, or I've reviewed Lef Brune at least. But down in the comments, have a conversation. Nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those things. Like, comment, subscribe, to this notification bell so you're fired to post the video that I'm showing. This is Nerdsense. Just